Hello everybody, my name is AR and welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. Now, I made a mistake last time. I said there was only four scenes in the game and I said we were pretty close to finishing the game because we got on Act 1, Scene 3. But um, it turns out that there was four acts, not four scenes. So we still got a long way to go for this game, so let's go ahead. Um, you guys did influence my choice from the last episode on what I should choose for the tracks. So we're going to do your guys' um, choice. I have to get back there, so I'll probably cut all this out and post right from here. Okay, so we left off here last time where we had to choose between the pendulum and the casket, the bat feeder and the scarecrow. Um, and you guys, 66% of you guys, chose the pendulum and the casket. So we're going to go down that route. Remember, if you do have this game, you can't check out all the other choices by yourself because I'm sure they'll lead to... Well, they probably lead to the same thing except this, maybe. So let's go to the pendulum and the casket. So we're going to turn that way. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I think most of you guys like read the word casket and you were like, Ooh, let's go down that way. So let's go, shall we? Hopefully it's not blocked off, because if it is blocked off, then the other 33% of you guys were correct. So, let's just keep going into the darkness. We're going downwards. That's not good. And I've been thinking about this game, and like, a lot of things don't make sense. Like, why is he out here? Why are people keep on talking about going through the zero instead of getting back onto the road? Was the other girl actually a ghost? Did she actually... Ooh, a tape player. A dusty reel-to-reel -reel tape player is stashed beneath the track. Loaded with tape but starved for power. Okay, so we can't actually play that. But... What? Seriously? Oh my gosh. It looks like we're going down to 33% of people's choice. Well done. You, you 66 percent of you guys chose the one that leads to death and blocked offness well blocked offness not really death but yeah oh wow what are the odds of that so we have to go down to the what was it the bat feeder boop turntable oh wow I did not think that was gonna happen I did not think that was going to happen. We're on the track between the pendulum and the casket, so... Animal Bones and the Rowboat, or Bat Feeder and the Scarecrow? I'm gonna go with the Bat Feeder and the Scarecrow first, because that was the other choice that you guys had. So we're gonna go down that route. Route. Hopefully it doesn't lead to just death. Or, well, just blocked offness. Animal Bones and the Rowboat. I guess that actually might be the answer because this place was flooded. Which does make a lot of sense. Let's go down. And it looks like we're going downwards again. Great! Just what we needed. Oh. Oh, come on! Seriously? Track's all messed up here. This tram isn't going any further. I wonder what's down that tunnel. Wow! Wow! Isn't that amazing? Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! That is amazing! Okay, so we're gonna try the animal bone ones. Wait, the animal bones was the one we were at at the beginning. We could just go downwards that one, she said. Oh. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. So it turns out that the way that we came in was the correct way anyway. Who would have thought? Ah, of course, it's going uphill now. Ah, great. Gr great, very great. Love it a lot. Very great. Oh wow, where are we now? That looks like another entrance. 
Oh well, another level entrance. Am I still clicking? Yeah, I'm still clicking. Okay. <gasps> An exit! Yay! Thank God, okay. Uh, no, we're not gonna poke around here. You, if you don't remember, your leg is broken. Probably. I just... The tunnel where the traps were broken. I'd like to take a look down there. Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Yeah, go. Don't take too long. Don't die. Something's gonna happen to her, isn't it? I can't even go anywhere right now. Birdcage. A paper tag hangs from the birdcage. By a string. Canary 25 tokens. Canary sold at the company store? Did it also sell res respirators? No bones in the cage. The bird must have been set free, or maybe the cage was cleaned. There are cardinals at the Louisville Zoo and other birds. Ostriches, eagles, emus, no canaries. Too common? Too small? Maybe they have starling. Maybe, but they have starlings. Starlings aren't much bigger than canaries. Anything else I can look at? Uh, Conway? Tape deals. A pile, of tapes, a pile of tape deals is jammed into the top of the tram. They must have been thrown on in a rush. The deals are unlabeled. The tape is decayed. Lizette and Ida's son Charlie talked about a piece of music he liked made with old decaying tapes. What was it called? What was it called? Something about Charlie had the most bizarre taste in music. Weird. Noisy. Computer music. Where did he even hear that stuff? Louisville probably? Or college? He was a smart kid. Damn pity. What's taking her so long? Ooh, that is dark. That is dark. What else? Notebooks. The notebook at the top of this dusty stack is labeled in a black marker. The label is dusty and smudged, but it looks like it might say horses. Houses, maybe, or verses, even. Crude and hurried handwriting, too. Lizette, is immaculate. Lizette has immaculate handwriting. Pristine and measured cursive. Never a stray mark. For the last several months, she filled out the receipts for each order, since that young couple complained about the handwriting on the order slip. It's carbon paper anyway. It's bound to wear away over time. If they're so precise about their records, they should put it on the computer anyway. Okay, so Lizette worked with you? I guess? Because you spoke about it before. Exit. Did I just leave her? And is that my truck? Again. My van that I have. Where is me? There is me. Did I just leave her? What? Oh, there she Okay, thank goodness. And my doggy is still there. Hey, doggy. Hey, stranger. I didn't think you were coming back. Did you find what you were looking for? Sure I was. Why wouldn't I be? People just keep disappearing tonight. That is true. That... that well, here I am, damn it. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm just on edge. I'll be okay once I get away from this mine. How's the leg? Um... Pain builds good heart, you know? Without pain, you can't live. So yeah, it's slow. Without physical pain, you can't live anyway. Well, I'll try not to get too far ahead of you. You don't mind hitching a you don't mind my hitching a ride, do you? I kind of get a, got a lift out here, and I wasn't sure if uh, when I'd be heading back. I can drive. Yeah, maybe that's best. Don't worry, I've been driving since I was nine. Uh, Dogwood Drive. I don't think let's go to the zero because that seems. Like I told you, Weaver doesn't lie. She sent you here to find your on-ramp. This is where you should be looking. Or maybe you weren't just listening closely enough. Then that's not exactly what she said. I saw Weaver at my workshop. That's up north by Lake Nolan. Right at the Wax and... Right at Wax and Pinoya. Or, or whatever. In the back of the bait shop. Pretty glamorous, right? These times we live in. So is she a ghost?
Is she a ghost? Hey, Homer. How you doing, buddy? Uh, let's go together. So is she a ghost? That's what I want to know. Cause, she, oh, this is. This is antiques. I guess this is your truck. This is my truck. Let go. Let 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 us go. It has places to go. Conway gets distracted. We got places to go, Conway. No time to get distracted. Jeez, man. What do you think we're on? A road trip? Uh, so we have to go down this way, maybe? I can't go any further? Jackson Highway. Do I have to go around it, maybe? No? Um. Uh, let's get back on the 65. That seems like the best thing to do right now. Get back on the... What? Can I not go any further? Oh, wait. Maybe down here. Uh, hello? Anyone there? No. What is this? Is that Weaver's house again? Or something like that? Was that... Ooh. What is this? What is this? Oh, that was a factory? Oh, uh, where do we need to go? What is... Is this the, the, the mine? It looks like the mine. So, I don't think we need to go here anymore. No, thank you. The only place I can think of is going downwards. Do we get on the 70? Let's go down to 70. I don't think anything will be down here, though, but... Oh, not... Yeah, what? I am so the confused. I am the so confused. I think we need to go back to the farmhouse. So, over here. I think we need to go there again. Ah, yes! Act 1, scene 5, Marquis Farmhouse again. Oh, oh, who's the best? Not me, apparently. That took me a while. Okay, let's go up, shall we? Come on, Shannon. I think that's your name. <sighs> if she's actually there again. That is just going to be creepy. What would have also been creepy is if the house disappeared. So, thank goodness for that. Come on, Conway. Walk. What? I'm not moving at... There we go. I think I was walking too far ahead of her and she needed to help me go uphill. Jeez, Conway, did you have to fall and hurt your leg? Huh? The car is still not here. The graveyard is here. Still. Like, why would that move? What is up with me? There's nobody buried here, you know. It's just decorative, I guess. Who dec- What? Who decorates the house with a graveyard? It's an art or something. Uh, what are the names on the headstones? Yes. Nowakowski, Padilla. I don't know those names. Maybe people who lived here before. I know when they bought the property. It's already a- I know when they bought this property, it already had a house and everything. Or maybe this has some other symbolic meaning. Oh, and look at the headstone. Marquez. I think... I used to think that was my parents. Now I don't know. No, not to the truck. Not to the truck. I clicked on that by mistake. Don't be a baby. Get inside the house. Uh, what is with this tree as well? Go to the house. No. Get her help. Dang it, get her help. You have broken your leg, and now you cannot walk. You need help, mister. How long are we? 15 minutes? Uh, for someone who heard... Oh, that door is so creepy. But yeah, everything is the same as it was back then. Uh, Shannon, what is wrong? So, this is where she was? Yeah, makes sense. 
This is where Weaver and her parents lived. They took out a bunch of loans, you know, and had this place built. Do you have any debts? Uh, I owe some people apologies. Well, you're lucky that's all you owe. My parents were like that until the company store found a way to get them. For my dad, it was tokens to run the fans and air purifiers, and for my mom, it was canaries. Ah. Two solutions to the same problem, but they sure sounded different. Weaver had debt too, a lot of it, all tuition. She said that she was, yeah, she did say that. She said some es esoteric stuff about something she was using math to translate between Spanish and English. I think eventually Weaver put those math skills to work on all the dead numbers in her family checkbook and got a clear sense of how hopeless the situation was. So she left. I guess she drove away in the middle of the night. They woke up in the morning and the car was gone. Never came back. The car disappeared when I finished setting up the TV. So that does explain quite a bit. Until tonight. Uh, someone else told me to come. Yeah, wait. What? To this one. Huh? Okay, I guess we're... I guess we two aren't the only ones she's been talking to. Oh, that's not something you see every day. That old TV, right? Uh, well, there's a damn antique for you. I had a model like that in the shop once, uh, but I had to sell it off to make rent. Most painful decision I ever made. Say, do you mind if I open it up? Looks like the dials are all corroded and the screen is leaking light a bit. Come on, I bet Lizette would never forgive you for letting a specimen like that fall into disrepair. Go for it. I mean, it's not my TV. <laughs> it's not my TV. At least it's not a flat screen as well, but okay. Windows open again? Yep, there we go. That's a cool effect. Such a cool effect. Oh yeah, these tubes are all messed up. Looks like they've been in a swamp or a cave or something. Cave! That was mentioned in the email back at the gas station. It was something about a cave. I have a few space in my bag here. Here, I'll pull this one out of all computer monitor. Just needs to be recalibrated a bit. Okay, that's out of... Should be seeing something now. Are you seeing anything? Uh, a little bit to the left. I think the contacts are dirty. Now, don't go telling my customers I clean up old vacuum tubes with spit. There, you just gotta turn it north, south, and boom! Is it working? Oh. My. Gosh. Was that my truck? Was that the zero? That was weird. That was weird. End of act one. Yes, nailed it. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Who are you? Lula Chamberlain, your application. Thank you for your application to the Gassum Trust for Imagined Architecture Annual Fellowship. We received a record number of applications this year, over 100 in total, and regrettably, we can only uh, we can award only one fellowship position per year. As you know, our review processes process includes a multi-phase blind blah blah blah. Okay. Blah, 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 panel did not select your application. We encourage you to consider reapplying next year. Many young artists and architects reapply for a few successive years before being accepted. Sincerely, Dr. Carl Stone Norden, architect for Gaston Trust for Imagined Architecture. Below the print text is a hastily, hastily handwritten note. Sorry for the condescending letter. Love your work. Unfortunately, I do the, I just do the mail here. Okay, so it's put it in your bag. Uh, opens a fold of what is this? What is this? Uh, 
what just happened? I mean, I know this is Act 2 and everything, but what just happened back in Act 1? How are you, Rick? Let's just go with that one. I'm so confused as what to happen, but we're going to leave it over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas what happened in the last episode with the whole truck driving into the thing, let me know down in the comments because I'm curious as to what that was. Like, what? That was like a farmhouse thing before. When I looked at it, and all of a sudden it changed to like this cave thing. Was that the zero? What was it? Oh my goodness gracious. So thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, give it a like down below. Let me know what you think happened in that last act. I'm so confused. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, until next time, game on. I can't think of anything that goes for that right now.